what we do. Yeah, you, you said that. Uh, so anyway, my boyfriend's called Zach, and what happened was he went away, and then we got together, and then he's gone, and now I don't know. We have a fascinating collection of 20th century tent pegs. <laughs> Each one has its own fascinating story. We got this one from the North York Moors. That's why we call it. The North York Moors Tempeg. <laughs> now this one, this one is totally different. <laughs> we got this one from the Lake District. And that is why we call it... Oh, let me guess, spooky. let me guess, let me guess. You call it the Lake District Tentpeg. Have you heard this story before? <laughs> no, it was just a wild stab in the dark. Look, listen, just why don't you go into the bathroom? Why don't you go and camp in there and you can use the shower curtain as a Ooh. tent? Go on, off you go. There you go. Stay in there for a very long time. Oh, can't find anyone to pull my heart to. Come on then, come on, you're welcome if you're not a camper. Ah, it's Richie from Five, everybody. Well, look, I heard you were all alone, so I thought I'd bring pizza and pot for two. You can sit down and tell me all about it. Oh, thanks, Richie. You know what? I was going absolutely mad. Shall I tell you this story? Basically, what happened was Ant and Deck were kidnapped. They've been taken to the other side of the world, and now they're trying to get back, and now I feel as though that there's a great big gaping hole in my life. You know, sure, it could be annoying and kind of infuriating, but... Oh, I miss it so much. I think you've hit the nail on the head there, love. I think what it is you miss is all the noise. Well, actually, that's true. It has been really quiet. You know what you want to try? You want to try this noise therapy? All the pop stars are doing it. Noise therapy? Yeah, it's what's, so easy. What's that? So easy. You just sit back. Okay. Put your head back. Yes. You close your eyes. Yes. Okay? Yes. And you put something noisy on the telly, like, I don't know, football. And then you just oh, let the... Friendly sounds of the noise of the TV just refresh your body, you know? Can you feel it, Kat? Can you feel it? Oh, you know what? I think this noise therapy is really, really working. All those football sounds, you know, they remind me of that and Deck. I reckon it's all psychological. This is really working, Rich. This is fantastic. Richie, what's going on? They're in noise therapy too. Richie, tell me what's going on now. Oh, all right, me telly bust. I wanted to watch the FA Cup final. No, I'm so angry I could just oh, 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 have a shower. <laughs> what? We got a bit stuck in your shower tent. Oh, oh look, oh, goodness, don't. Oh, oh, it's my best mate Louise. Come for a nice friendly chat, have we? Oh, dear, I don't think you've got the time. Here you go. Why cat go. away? What? The cat. I just realised how insensitive I was being. Your boyfriend is thousands of miles away and you're really hurting and I was just too wrapped up in myself. Me neither, Kat. I was too wrapped up in the football match. Come on, lads. You gotta go. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'll you gotta go. I'll be you wrapped up in your shower curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they? The Filberts. Gampin's what we do. We're campers. Oh. <laughs> Look, Kat, I'm just really sorry. Why don't you, me and Richie all have a really good chat about you and Dick. I'll fetch some cocoa and marshmallows and then we can have a really good girly night in. Oh, great. that's a great idea. Great. 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 Oh, awesome. this is great, you know. It's just nice having someone to talk to, you know. You know, it's those, those um, <clears throat> intimate moments that you kind of tend to miss most, you know. <laughs> I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? <coughs> yeah, um, Snog interruptions. You know, you don't mind me being so open with you, do you? It's just that I really, really need to talk to somebody about it. That's what I'm here for. You just get it off your chest. Uh, well, you see, sometimes we'd sit kind of like this, and, and he'd turn around to me and he'd go, Me and Kat, all alone in the flat. I've seen you two do that. It's uh, really romantic. I oh. know. <laughs> Even more so with the music. Isn't the fool saying something like, Me? And Kat, yeah. all alone in the flat, I think I'm going to kiss her. You see, that's just it. And then what normally happens is we just kind of move closer and closer together like this until our lips are almost touching. And then someone just kind of interrupts us. Here you go, you two! Oh, my God! <laughs> Louise, you don't understand. You've totally misconstrued the situation. Well, Kat, 
didn't waste much time, did she? And that wretch is not backwards in coming forwards, is he? I was just trying to get it off her chest. Yeah, right. Find out what deplorable and tacky reason they make up for getting out of this one in next week's episode of Chums. Yeah.